just doing a mock build at the moment. We're starting to get into the electronic side of things, um, and it was just a case of placing the various bits and pieces in their respective places to see what room I've got to work with. Um, so this is where the um, receiver antenna is going to sit through this hole somewhere and um, if I take the top off just to see what sort of room I've got I'm going to be um, building, stacking up, so building a stack as I go so at the lower levels um, this is the transceiver module so that will be um, placed about there somewhere with the cabling going down to a voltage regulator and the Arduino Mega which I'll be coming to in a minute um, <clears throat> so I've made a rack to accept four of these motor drivers now these motor drivers are TB6612NG so they will be um, operating the DC motors so we've got over here the top board would be the slew and the dipper arm this one is spare at the moment so this one I'm going to be allocating for auxiliary services so there will be two motors there um, this one will be assigned for the track motors and I've yet to put the track frame down underneath to connect the motors up onto this board and the bottom board or the last board would be right hand joystick operation and that would operate the bucket and the boom arm so the main boom there so we'll be using the Arduino Mega as the main sort of brains of the outfit if you like so this will um, receive the signals from the transmitter or the receiver this item here and it will convert all the signals into uh, what do we call it? PWM signals to operate the motor drivers. So if I look, if we get in on the uh, motor drivers, we can work out the terminals. So the motor outputs will be on this side. So we've got motors A and B and then A and B, A and B so um, the dipper motor and the slew motor would be a connect, connected through there there's two voltage inputs so one is battery voltage which I'll, I'll be running probably three cell so 12 volts will go into there the one behind it is 5 volts which is the voltage of the logic circuits and then we've got a ground connection the two motor outputs and then another ground connection and then on this side these this side will all be connected to the Arduino <coughs> so we've got uh, PWM number two this will tell it the speed of the motor so that will control the speed next one down is A in two and A in one so those two terminals will determine the polarity so that that will tell it which way to turn whether clockwise or anti-clockwise the standby will be connected to the 5 volt circuit so it will be it will come out of standby as soon as power is connected and then we've got motor B in 1 and 2 
and PWMB so that is the signal uh, like the speed control signal of motor B so and that's followed up by the rest of the boards so the, the next sort of stage will be to wire up the motor sides and uh, connect all those up then I can plug in a remote control hardwired to make sure the operation of the motors and the speed controllers are all working so um, today's job was to actually mount this board and mount this this rack so I've designed this to um, hold the boards because there's not much room for anything to, to hold the boards. There'll be some pin headers being soldered to these boards like that and they will accept the um, plugs for the motors because the motors are beyond plugs. Um, so there's a whole row of those either side and once the pin headers are on there that's held into position so it's actually clamped in position by these two clamps so I'll see if I can get a better shot of the bracket you can see there the empty slot for another bracket and how it's held into position so just a quick shot around so the rest of it now is just uh, wiring it all together and th there's a voltage regulator to be fitted as well two voltage regulators one for the transmitter or the receiver this he works off 3.3 volts so I've got to get a 5 volt rail out and a battery rail voltage to feed these with the battery voltage so that will <coughs> determine what what the motors will be running at so yeah there we are that's as far as it's got so far